How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Hey guys, it's Peaches, and welcome to Monkey Island, LeChuck's Revenge. Now, I did play the first Monkey Island a couple months back, so if you missed it or if you're interested in watching that first, I will link it down below and on the top right corner of the screen. But in the meantime, let's just start a game. Shall we? Yes, okay. Um, this is the special well, well, edition. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. <laughs> Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None Big other. Whoop? Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either <laughs> way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Okay. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. He's looking dapper. Uh, one second though. <laughs> I keep needing to adjust everything because, uh, first time playing and all that. Yeah, just turning the volume down a notch. De largo embargo. <laughs> and that's a cute loading screen. Okay. Uh, so I have tons of stuff in my inventory. I see I am filthy rich. Like, what is this bond? This Look may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. Okay. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. Oh, you're gonna lose everything, I can tell already. <laughs> Someone's gonna steal from you. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This mm. is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Alright. Is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money, I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna make me shorty? Shorty? I don't pay for nothing, I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Yep. Tough guy, huh? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Help! Police! Dude. <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. And who keeps up the law and maintains the order? No one. Guy Rush. No one. Who eats the donuts and rough up the transient? Transient. Please, not my new coat. <laughs> Okay, put me down now, now, and I will have to hurt you. Um. Who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Oh, he's gonna steal from me. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Largo the Grand. 
tough town. <laughs> I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay. What the hell is audio commentary and why is it always like this? Okay, here is the big... Alright, no. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with a lot of good guy? Nice apron. I use some sort of chef. Yeah, he's a chef, obviously. I must wood wood it woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck woodchuck wood. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Oh. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Oh my god, I can't keep going. <laughs> a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay, what's the problem with that Largo guy? Nice apron. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. <laughs> like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Ooh. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? <laughs> no. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Oh, this is easier than the first one. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. What about the hammer? It says Woody. That's me. Oh. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. What? No one touches her but me. You mean the calendar? Push. Hey, don't touch those. I need all of them. Says talk. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. That's all it says. Okay, well that's enough. I think. Let's keep investigating. Bloody... Bloody leap. Bloody lip, it says. The bloody lip bar and grill. Okay, that's another door. What a dinky little door. Let's go in. Hello. Oh, oh hello. Cartographer. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guy Rush Truthboard, Lechak Busting Stud. Who are you? Excuse me, do you know anything about Beat Whoop? Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. He's living in an upside down ship. Do you notice that? <laughs> Nobody sent me, I'm freelance. I was sent by the, by the IRS, let me see your files. Don't shoot, I was just asking. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my <laughs> files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Oh. Okay. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? Nothing. I know I'm looking for it and that's about it. I know it contains an Im unimaginably... unimaginable... blah blah blah, blah English. Uh, I know its location is a mystery. I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Who? No. no. Tell, tell me all about it. Tell well, me. all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, Inky but I don't island. believe that. Okay. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. 
But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, hmm. and they all went their separate ways. That is some story. Where where are they now? Do you actually believe that story? Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. What? Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Okay. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At Wally your B. Feed. service. Okay, I have some questions about Scab Island. What exactly do you do here? House business? I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it's, of it as soon as possible. Where's the governor's mansion? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. Makes a haven sense. for roughnecks and rebels like me. Oh yeah, you're such on a this rebel. Island is that bully Largo. Okay, how can I get off the sideline as soon as possible? You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Okay. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, hmm. tell me about it. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip, and the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. Okay. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With the sailing <laughs> embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. <laughs> all right. What exactly do you do Last here? Last question. I'm a cartographer. Obviously. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. <laughs> uh, is that all you do make map? Ha, huh, only sisters make maps. Don't be silly. What kind silly. of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Very, very important. Not to me, I don't travel. Yes, you do. I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. It's a pile of blank paper. Okay. I cannot really look at anything else. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. Huh. <laughs> you silly Billy. Alright. So, it says help wanted. Over here. That's help another wanted. ship. One this week selling big. in advance. Inquire below. Uh, there's three guys sleeping on there. Okay. Let's go down here. See what, let's see what's up. Bar keeper. Let's talk to him. Do you, uh, ew. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Gross. It was green spit. That was not health. That's not healthy. That's not a healthy spit. Let me tell you. You need to look that up. How's business? Grog, please. Uh. Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. What? I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. What? It doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Who's Rats. Kate? Of course, if you have some ID. Uh, in my other pants, who's this Kate person, person you mentioned? Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. Mm -hmm. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to freelance the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. 
Freelance pirating, that's interesting. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh yeah, I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. Damn it. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Okay, well. How's business? It's just terrible. <laughs> no one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's Ruth that? Here? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Oh, that's nice. Fork Ew. over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. That is nasty. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. Oh, dear. <laughs> that is disgusting. You just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Largo's been here. Can I grab it? I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay. Look at the advertisement. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Yeah, you should have. It's good for hey! you. Hired help only! Alright, Jesus Christ. I'm leaving. The movement is so strange. Like, really CGI. Okay, uh, let's go here. And there's another ship here. Okay. No, we don't clean leather. <laughs> Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Men of low moral fiber again. Oh, and they have a rat. Yoo hoo! Yoo hoo! Boys! What is it? Long time no see. Remember me? I'm. Oh, they're these guys. Okay, I didn't recognize them. Did you ever get that circus started? Do we know you? I'm B Guy Rushdie Wood, a mighty, mighty pirate. The man who got rid of the world of LeChuck. He tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Of no, course you really? don't. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's right. Performing. <laughs> that's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. Fat? The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Okay, why are you still doing that? What does this have to do with performing? What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh... <laughs> Couldn't refuse. So we sold it to the governor business. of the island. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We of wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there! <laughs> Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. <laughs> Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When do we get the perform to the performing part? How much longer is the story? When do we get to the performing part? 
We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies. <laughs> that you should bore passengers by to tears with long stories. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. What? what is it? What did he say? Tell me already. <laughs> he told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? What happened to your leg? Is that your rat? See you later. How come you okay. have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You do? Oh, good. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because Monster of his insatiable passion for cheese. Ooh. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from <laughs> the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. See you later. All we right. can scarcely contain our anticipation. All right. Well, I don't want to talk to a laundry guy. Let's see. What do you know about Car Largo Le Grand? Who are you? I'd like to pick up some clothes. What? What do you know about Largo Le Grand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. Oh dear. I'm clean, clean, clean. Okay. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. It was stolen. I must have left in my other pants. I dropped it in my grog and melted. Mom threw it out when she clean cleaned my room. I lost it while being meal hauled. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. All right. Oops. I thought I wanted <laughs> to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Nice. Open it. Nice. Nice. It won't fit in my pocket. Nice. What's in there? It won't fit in my pocket. I want to know what's in there. It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Cool. All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to go back to the street. And let's check out the last ship. I think I have a few minutes left. Still. This is kind of cool. It's like a little town made of broken ships. Hello? Excuse me. I'd like a room, please. Sorry. What the hell? We only have one, and it's full. There's a crocodile. There's an alligator. Oh, isn't that cute? That, that's adorable. Do you want to touch it? I could lose a finger doing that. <laughs> Alright, mm. let's look at this. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Okay. Can I go anywhere? Hold it right there. Oh. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay. I'm gonna go to the wood, uh, the wood, what is it called? Oh, uh, I forgot. It's not this guy over here. It's one of the first ones. This one. Okay. <coughs> yeah? Can I buy some wood uh, polish? Can I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, I don't need to look around. I'm just gonna go back and give the guy a uh, his wood polish. See what happened. No, no. What? Ah! No, I accidentally clicked click down. Hello. Hello. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to walk in here. Okay. Hey guys. Hey. Yoo Yo. Yoo Hey guys. Yoo All right. Yoo Give. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Okay. So let's use a wood polish. Oh, okay. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm rich, but... So where do I go now? Now what? Hmm... Okay, let's go back here. I don't think there's much else to do, to be honest, right now. Let's just look around. Path, okay. So there's a swamp, and a cemetery, and a peninsula, and a beach. Let's go to the beach. It's close by. Okay. Hello. Think. Oh, these are the guys I was talking to. He's back. I ever told you the time I kicked <laughs> Chuck's butt. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. It's been about 25 minutes. There it is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it here for today. And yeah, let me know if you're enjoying the series. Comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video.